Yo, what's going on, good people? This is Smitty on behalf of Sim Standard. Uh, just a few things I want to get into on this video. So, uh, trying to get this get this through as quick as possible. Uh, first of all, first of all, shout out to the entire community. Shout out to everyone, all the support that we get. Um, this video here is talking about the ones that just don't understand. They're just not gonna understand what the purpose of our channel is. They're not going to understand what it is that we're doing. And they're upset. They're clearly upset because EA honestly is making strides in the right direction. Or maybe they're just upset because we're giving them props. Or I don't know, maybe you're just mad just because you're upset. You know, you're just mad just because. You're just angry. I don't know. But the thing is that we are pushing, the whole purpose of our channel was just to say, hey, you know what? If EA is not going to honestly refine their product, we're knocking the sales down. Plain and simple. And guess what? There are videos in this channel. If you go to look through, there are videos within this channel out of the 122 that are up here. We have videos where we're clearly where we clearly talked about consecutive hit tackling missing. We talked about morphing and shifting and warping and all that. And they honestly are addressing those problems. So how can we turn around and say you know as soon as we give them props you gave EA props how dare you do that but then you agreed with us and you you agreed with what we were saying when we said EA you need consecutive hit tackling EA you need you need progressive consecutive hit tackling EA y'all need to fix the morphing EA you guys have suction shakedown has his videos talking about that and so many people agree with it and so many people are down with it but then as soon as EA is taking the strides to fix it, oh, okay, well, they fix it, but now what? Well, what, what else did they do? They, they didn't do anything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like they didn't do anything. It's like when you feel that way, it doesn't matter what EA could do. You're, you're going to hate them regardless. That's called blind hatred. That's why, like I said in the last video, you got to take off your hater vision goggles. you got to take them off. But some people, go, they're going to take them off for one moment, and then they're going to put them right back on. And that's cool. And, and, you know, thing is, people are taking that hate so far, they're even going at us. People that was riding, people that was right there with us, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, from day one, it was right there with us from day one, and all of a sudden, now they didn't jump the ship. They, they didn't jump the ship. Oh, they actually like, they're actually giving support for EA's game now. Oh, no, it's terrible. Oh, no, they're supposed to support my 2K12 effort. And, yeah, I'm talking about J Music. Yeah, I'm talking about him. No question about it. That brother, yo, you, you need to get your chips in order, bro, for real. Get your facts straight when you're talking about anyone, for that matter. You're not getting your facts straight at all. None of us said FEA. None of us said your game's completely garbage, fix it, and all that stuff. None of us just jumped up on this channel and clearly said that. Sim, and, that, and the funny thing is, I just want to say this real quick. Sim F-Ball, one of the first videos put on the channel that's one of the first videos he straight up said this is to any gaming company any gaming company not one any gaming company not EA Sports any simulation gaming company if you're making a simulation football game pay attention to what I'm telling you that's the purpose of the channel that was the purpose not just towards EA EA was EA played an integral part of us getting the channel started, yeah, because we knew that Madden and NCAA 12 were going to be the primary games that are releasing this year. So we already knew that. You know what I'm saying? So what our point is, what what our purpose was, was just to say, hey, you guys, you know what? You guys got to fix your game. Your game's been the same all this time, and it's unacceptable. It has to be fixed. If you guys aren't gonna, if you guys are gonna sit here and say, "Yeah, we're gonna fix that and we're gonna correct this," and you're not even taking a chance, you're not even taking the strides to do it, and it's basically like the exact same thing for another year. Yeah, we we're gonna take we're gonna take your sales down. We're gonna put a huge dent in those sales. You acting like it's low now, we are really gonna kill your sales. But the thing is, they're actually paying attention to what we're saying. They're actually paying attention to what we're doing. So therefore, lot using using logic here, okay? Uh, maybe Jay, maybe you'll understand this. Using using sensible logic. When somebody when, when people are saying 
you need to fix your game in compartments A, B, and C. You know what I'm saying? And you have to fix your game in compartments A, B, and C. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they actually say, well, we're, we're, addressing, we're addressing A, B, and C, and we got them, we, we address them to a great degree. Not to the fullest yet, but we address them to a great degree. What do you say in turn? Thank you for, for paying attention. Thank you for paying attention to what I filed. Thank you for fixing it. That's exactly what we're doing. We're giving them props when they're actually taking the strides. When we actually see the work instead of just hearing them or seeing a, a very cosmetic trailer. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what we're saying. All this gameplay we're seeing is not doctored up. This is straight up the game right here that we're looking at. You know what I'm saying? You're, and, and, and yet and still it's like, oh, it's crazy. You're giving them props. It's crazy. No, it's not crazy. That makes common sense. What's crazy is that you want to be blind about it. And you know, and that's understandable though. Some people, some people are just gonna be upset just because, and that's cool. We have no problem with that. But don't come at us. We're not EA. Don't come at us because we're giving them props. Oh, I can't believe you're giving them credit. Well, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, from that point, from that standpoint, you know, he's saying he he he's saying that he's saying that you know his 2K12 project is going to be uh it's going to have 15 18 new gameplay enhancements and features now this is the other point that i just want to make here making this thing as uh quick as i possibly can um this is from the nfl 2k5 roster.com website just an example here dolphin 26 is one of the users there you know big ups to him because he has multiple rosters that he put out 1984 roster, you know, he did player ratings obviously, re-rated 18, more than over 1800 players and things of that nature. You know, he had his own method and means of doing it, but this is the part I want to talk about right here. As you see there on the screen, coaches, you know, recreated the coaches, the about uh, body types, play calling tendencies, ratings, all that stuff. Um player specific uniform I mean team specific uniforms for the era you know what I'm saying for the greater degree um, playbooks you know the playbooks and everything were done correct were done accurately on offense and defense you know what I'm saying uh, pass rating system done the 1984 schedule is done. Even and this is the thing. He even got the detail down to where you know Billy Sims will miss most of the season. Uh, other example, Kurt Warner misses the entire year like he did in '84. I mean, to have it set that way, going into the game, that this is what Flying Finn made made it possible. Flying Finn made this possible so you could do it. So the thing is, Jay Jay's got something that. Even he missed with 15, 15 to 18 enhancements. So he has to have something that Flying Finn just absolutely missed. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, we got reworked contracts and everything to, you know, he reworked the contracts to fit the 84 season, to fit that era, the salary caps, you know, all that. Even the draft class, got that 1985 draft class, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the draft or whatever in the franchise. So, I mean, to see, I, I really want to see what Jay's going to do. You know what I'm saying? Since he's saying, well, I'm providing something, what are you guys doing? Well, what we're doing is what we've always been doing. We're not just going to change it up all of a sudden just because you're upset. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're mad or whatever because we're actually giving EA props for actually fixing something that we've complained about. Now, it's long overdue that EA's fixing it, yeah, but the point is that they're fixing it. Because you know what, if the if the roles were reversed and it was 2K Sports, if if 2K Sports, meaning this, if it was 2K Sports and they say we're coming out with all pro football 2K12, and guess what, we got rid of suction, morphing, warping, shifting, we improved our zone coverages, and we got true ball physics and everything, and we even we even revamped our tackling system. You can have four, you can have a quad tackle. You know what I'm saying? Four guys latch on to one guy or whatever. People would be going eight nuts right now. 
in terms of that game, and they would, and, and they they don't even have to have as much as a screenshot up. They could just be a big, it could just be a press release. People would be going crazy off of that. You know what I'm saying? So because it's EA, all of a sudden, well, they fixed those two things, but what what else did they do? They didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's just funny to me. You know, that's just that that's comedic to a sense. You know what I mean? It's just funny, but. Like I said before, I understand the I understand the anger and frustration from the community. I fully, fully understand that. You know? So on that note, I'ma end this vid. You know what I'm saying? And oh, one other thing, I'm sorry, I forgot. One other thing I just want to show real quick. And this is in this is in uh Madden in uh, Madden 12, this is some E3 footage right here. I just want you to see the, the matchup right here between Bennett and this cornerback right here. You know, um, now Jay said that they backpedal just as fast as the receiver when they're running downfield. So I just want to see, because he, he said, he, he clearly told me that the way that they cover, it happens all the time. So... Let me just just play it and just watch that matchup. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be able to see it. Hold on. Let me let me just adjust this a little bit because I want I, I want you, I want you guys to be able to see what happened there. Now you should be able to see it. It's to the far right corner right there. I mean the far left. I'm sorry. Now just check it real quick. Look how he gets beat. You see how he got beat there? That's just a perfect example right there. And I mean, you know, I'm not going to go back and play it again, but I mean, just that's just a perfect example of, like I said, take the hate vision goggles off, Jay, you know what I'm saying, or anyone else that's acting just like him. Don't be blind. Don't, don't, don't ignore the fact that they're making these improvements and that they've made the improvements. Respect the improvements, but then still... At the same time, still be like, yo, that's not enough. You know what I'm saying? I fully understand what you're saying, but don't attack us when we when we acknowledge the work that they do. You know what I'm saying? But then you're saying you want to roll. You want to, you know, you want to say that you you, you know, you're you're down with Sim Center. You want to shout us out and everything, but then you want to disrespect us like that. Like, no, don't don't do no shady stuff like that. And one of the thing, one of the one last point. I'm sorry. One last point I want to make. J Music did not found the Sim Standard. J Music did not create the Sim Standard. J Music did not have anything to do with us banding together. He had zero zip zilch nada to do with us coming together. This was an idea that we had, and when I say we, I'm talking about myself, Sim F Ball Critic. Azura, um, Apex, Moody, Brozels, Shakedown, you know, versus. This was something we had spoke about loosely for like a year and a half. A good, yeah, I say a good year and a half, just loosely speaking about. This was our idea. This didn't have nothing to do with, with J Music. He had zero to do with it. Trust. He had nothing to do with it. We just, uh, like, when, when we all heard the podcast, that was the key thing right there to say, hey, you know what, guys, time to come together. Let's smash this fool. Let's smash these cats at EA. They saying we nitpicking? All right, we're going to give them something. Let their game be weak this year. I guarantee you we killing them. You know what I'm saying? And that was the whole thing right there. He said this is a perfect opportunity. Let's go ahead and get and, and uh, bang this channel out. And that's exactly how it kicked off. It ain't had nothing to do with Jay. So, he went ahead and made a video or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that's cool and all that, but he, you know, like, just to set the record straight, he didn't have nothing to do with us coming together, okay? Just want to make that part clear. Sorry I'm being a bit loose on this video, but you know what I'm saying, hey man, look, you know, it is what it is, that's really my demeanor about it, man, it is what it is, but at the same time, pay attention to the facts, you know what I'm saying, make your own opinion. Now you can make your own opinion and speak your mind however you want to, but pay attention to the facts, especially when you're talking about us at the Sim Standard, okay? When you're talking about something or somebody, please keep the facts in mind, alright? Alright, y'all. Take it easy. Peace.